ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Off the Bench podcast, episode 19, I believe. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, so, the college basketball tournament is over. UConn being crowned the champions. They were the favorites going into the Final Four. Obviously not the favorites going into the tournament. Even this year, they were never ranked number one throughout the entire of the year. They didn't even win their conference, but in the tournament, they clearly looked like the best team. They win the final against San Diego State, 76 to 59. San Diego State did cut it to six, I believe, at some point in the second half. I was thinking while watching that maybe they had a chance to come back, but UConn really just shut the door and dominated. So really impressive performance from them. It was nice watching a team play good ball like they did. And it's crazy how fast the tournament went by, but that's how it is every year. Just a few weeks, and then got to wait till the regular season starts off. But we do still have NBA going on. Currently, the Bucks lead the East by three games ahead of the Celtics, followed by the Sixers and Cavs. Those are the 50-plus win teams in the East right now. And then the Knicks and the Nets, in that order, rounding out the top six seeds. And the play-in... The play-in teams are all set, just a matter of there could be movement between 7, 8, 9, 10, but those are the teams for sure in the play-in. Miami at 7, Atlanta at 8, Toronto at 9, and Chicago at 10. So that means Indiana, Washington, Orlando, Charlotte, and Detroit have been eliminated. Then moving over to the West, Denver still hasn't clinched the conference yet. Um after the loss last night to Houston that was pretty embarrassing for them but they are sitting at 52 wins the Grizzlies are at 50 Kings 48 Suns 44 Warriors at 42 and Clippers at 41 then 7, 8, 9, 10 right now are Lakers Pelicans Timberwolves Thunder all within three games of each other with around three games to go and then just outside that haven't been eliminated yet are Dallas with 37 wins and Utah with 36, but very unlikely right now for them to at least make the play-in. Big game tonight between the Lakers and the Clippers. Winner will be the sixth seed. Currently, the Clippers are right now. Lakers are at seven. They have, they're tied for the same record. Very interesting stats, actually, when you look at it. Right, they're both 41 and 38. Both have a home record of 21 and 18. Both are 20 and 20 on the road. Um, very similar differences in points per game. Clippers are at plus 0.2, Lakers at plus 0.4. The Lakers are on a four game win streak, Clippers are on a two game losing streak. The Clippers do have the head to head advantage over them. That's why they're above them right now. I I think they've played they've played three times this year already. Clippers have won all three. They won the first game by six, second game by 13, and then the third game by 18. And that third game, yeah, that was way before Westbrook came over there. That's when the Lakers were below 500. Um, so, yeah, the playoff race is tightening up, getting ready for the NBA playoffs that's happening in a little less than two weeks, I believe. And then the playoffs will go all the way till June. That's when the finals are. NBA playoffs take long. And then the NFL draft is end of April, coming up pretty fast. Um, We know that the Panthers traded up for the Bears' first pick. There haven't been any other trades so far yet for picks in the top 10. Because currently right now, the Panthers have first pick then it's Houston, Arizona's at three. Uh, that definitely could change. People are saying maybe Indianapolis moves up from four to three just to make sure they can get a quarterback. But Indianapolis, Indianapolis otherwise is at four. Seattle's at five. Detroit is at six. Both of those teams have picks from the Broncos and the Rams, respectively, in their trades for the quarterbacks. Obviously, the Seahawks being with Russell Wilson and the Lions being with Matt Stafford. The Raiders are at 7. They're saying maybe they would take Will Levis at 7 just so just to maybe develop him under Jimmy G, which isn't honestly a bad idea, but they could also go defense. Falcons are at 8. 
Bears are at nine. That's the pick from Carolina. Carolina moved from nine to one and had to give up a lot. Eagles at ten, and people are saying maybe they're going to take Bijan Robinson from Texas to add to the running arsenal. But I could see them trading back just with some of the need the um, positions that they need to fill and having a valuable pick. They could get a lot of assets from trading down. Titans are at 11. Houston's at 12. So they have two picks in the top 15. This one's from Cleveland with the Deshaun Watson trade. Yeah. Jets are at 13. Looks like they're going to keep that pick, I would assume, from the Aaron Rodgers trade. It's yet to go through. Um, Some people are saying that it might happen before draft day, maybe on the day of the draft. But time is ticking, and I hope they get a deal done. Patriots at 14. Packers at 15. Commanders at 16, then Steelers, Lions. So Lions do have two first-round picks. Tampa Bay at 19. Seahawks at 20. There's their second first-round pick. Chargers at 21. Ravens at 22. Then Vikings, Jaguars, Giants, Cowboys, Bills, Bengals. New Orleans at 29. They have the San Fran pick. Eagles at 30, then Chiefs at 31. Miami does not have a first-round pick. Theirs was taken away for violating some rules. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head. But that's really the first round. A lot of different mock drafts have come out, um, especially with the first pick. It's really between uh, C.J. Stroud and Bryce Young. I, I Personally, I think the Panthers take Bryce Young just to – experiment i guess i I don't know Uh, you know bryce young's obviously the shorter quarterback but playing under that alabama system cj Stroud's the bigger quarterback playing from ohio state i I mean you can't go wrong with either of the two i mean at that point yeah it's just personal preference and then houston houston i assume will take whoever carolina doesn't take arizona probably taking will anderson from bama if not they're trading down Colts, they're taking a quarterback, I would assume. So I'd think Anthony Richardson or possibly Will Levis at four. Seahawks and Lions at five and six are probably going to go defense. Raiders either take quarterback or defense. Falcons, not sure what they want to do with that. They could maybe trade up, but I think they already said that Desmond Ritter is going to be their starter, so I don't think they would. Bears at nine will probably go defense too. Eagles. I'm thinking they're either going to take that running back or they're going to trade down. Titans, Titans, I don't know, at 11. Um, Some uh, analysts were saying they go wide receiver for the second year in a row. Uh, Some were saying maybe JSN from Ohio State could go there. I don't hate it as a possibility to give Tannehill another wide receiver because he needs him bad. Texans at 12 probably would think defense after taking quarterback at two jets got to go o line at 13 have to go o line I, I don't people are saying they should go wide receiver i no you got to protect the quarterback especially for getting aaron Rodgers. you have to protect the quarterback you got to go o line at 13 then even after that not exactly sure where some teams are going to want to go um yeah i'm not sure okay so yeah, that NFL draft starts on April 27th. That's round one, it's 8 p.m. Thursday, April 27th. That's going to take a few hours, but it's going to be entertaining and exciting. So what I wanted to talk about, you see the thumbnail, the future, because I, I'll be honest with you, coming in today on Wednesday, April 5th, 2023, I did not know if I was going to record an episode or not. I know over the past weeks i have been inconsistent with releasing episodes part of that is part of it's my laziness and not managing my time right the other part is actually having school obviously i got to put school first and then work with school second and then podcast that's just whenever i have time um but yeah the future of off the bench so football season when i started it that's when it really became more of a routine for me just because you had 
it was more of a how do I put it into words? More, it was more structured. You had games every week. There's games on the same days every week. You have Thursday night games. You got Sunday, and then you got the Monday night game. So that's why I was dropping episodes on Tuesday because it was right after the Monday night game, and then you're you have two days before it goes starts up again Thursday. I think yeah, with football it was just a lot easier to be more consistent with just because of the structure of it and how it was repeating almost every week. Then but I mean we did start in the middle of the year which I mean going into next season obviously we're going to start week 1. We'll probably maybe preseason, I'm not I'm not exactly sure. That's what we're going to talk about right now. Then after football, after the Super Bowl, that's when we really dove into basketball and it was actually kind of perfect because that's right when all-star weekend was and um the march man the tournament was about a month away so things are starting to heat up for some teams and um their tournament hopes so that's why a lot of interesting stuff to talk about there um now the tournament's over again um the thing for releasing episodes during the tournament why I didn't release one during the first round I why I just released the bracket because I I said in the week before I was gonna go game by game pick winners which so that um, the game started on Thursday so that Wednesday I wanted to record an episode wasn't able to I was home on spring break was doing other stuff with my family, just couldn't have time to record an episode. And even the Thursday morning, game started at noon. I, I didn't see a possibility where I was going to be able to get up and do one before the game, so that's why. I put out the bracket so you'd see my picks. I didn't analyze all of them, but again, you saw my picks. Not great. Arizona lost in the first round, but that's how brackets go every year. Uh, then didn't release an episode for the next week thought we'd wait till um can't remember exactly when i released one before yeah it was so we took two weeks off so it was episode 17 was right before the tournament it was the week before the tournament the week before Selection Sunday. It was that Wednesday before Selection Sunday. So then we didn't record an episode that week when we had um, the first games and then round of 32, and then didn't record one the week after either. So we skipped a whole two weeks worth of episodes talk that we could have talked about, so we 16 and Elite Eight, and then had the Final Four preview last weekend, last Friday, just because the games were Saturday and then the championship game Monday. Did release some graphics. I've actually found those pretty cool to make now. I enjoy making them, posting them on the Instagram. Just be, just for being relevant for March. Our picks were okay. Um, first round of Sweet 16 picks were terrible. We went 0 for 4 <laughs> on the first day. But then on the second day... Um, we went three for four, so not bad. And then Elite Eight, we went three for four. And then Final Four, we went one for two. But that's how it goes. Didn't do one for the championship. I apologize for that. Just I don't, wasn't thinking. Didn't know why. Just didn't do one. But anyways, tournament's over. NBA playoffs start in two weeks. Um. So, okay, so now really, I guess I talked about the future a little bit. But I, I said I was. It didn't really. Now I'm going to talk about the future. So now we just have that really with what we discuss. It's NBA playoffs currently in in season. NFL's off season. And fantasy football goes with NFL. College basketball we're not going to talk about until I I don't, I don't even know. There's not really anything to talk about with it until next year. But. I think one j- just because I'm in college now and it's gearing up towards the uh, finals are in a month, so it's really crunch time now. Got to start locking in 
getting stuff done, really focusing in on schoolwork specifically. I don't think there's going to be episodes every week um, after this one. There's going to be episode. I'd say at least maybe once every two weeks. I don't think every week's going to be able to happen. And even over the su- over the summer, I'm not exactly sure with that either, just because it's going to be time for all of us to be able to relax, enjoy ourselves after working hard this year, especially for us in school. So I'm not really sure with that type of content we'll have over the summer. I'm thinking maybe more of the having guests on, like I did over winter break. I know Tyler. Tyler is going to probably come on again. Maybe a few other people that we haven't had on the show yet. But those over the summer might just be more um, just talking about anything, I would think, more than just sports. Just because it's... It's nice to take a break from sports once in a while and just talk about other things in life. So that's what I'm anticipating for the summer. More of the having guests on the show and then just talking about other stuff besides sports. We'll talk about sports too, but we could also incorporate other things into our conversations. And then once football season starts back up in September, I know I'm thinking half a year ahead right now, but that's when... We'll go back to like what we were doing when we first started the show. Talk about previous week's games, fantasy performers, news, and then pick the winners for the fo- uh, following week. That is the plan for the future. Uh, and that's that'll wrap up today, today's episode. Only got about 17 minutes rolling right now. Not bad. Um, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm happy I actually did this today just so I could explain what I, what my mind, what's going on in my mind regarding the show. So yeah, thank you again for tuning in and see you maybe next week.